Hey guys, how's it going? This is Black Kid 489 here. This is actually just a continuation on from the Super Smash Brothers Crusade How to Play Your Controller and Online continuation video. Um, there has been a lot of issues with uh, trying to get the GameCube controller to work with Joy to Key. And I do apologize about not uh, letting you guys know about the GameCube aspect of that. So let me show you what most players or people are having with this and, and if not this is what it would look like so when you run joy to key and you have your controller or gamecube controller adapter plugged in you'll get something like this and then you, and when you pop up let's say like four or five controllers you're gonna get um if you're like me you'll have only the fourth player working for you and that's basically what going on you'll only be able to register fourth controller as um, joy to key would work so um, you would have to either have um, cr cr um, have your joy to key configured for control joystick four to work for all the buttons um, as you map them out you, you, ha you can't have it on joystick one joystick two it has to be on the controller that lights up so if you're unsure just you know put as many controllers as you're allowed and then figure out which whoops and just figure out, you know, which one and which one best fits your other uh, joy controller. Now, I am here to offer a um, an alternative on uh, which other people, uh, which um, cr uh, the Crusade developers actually suggest a lot is the X Powder, and that's actually not it's not there's a it's a free version and a a, a buy version, um, but I have a version for you to take care of um, if you um, look at the link link in the description. So let's go ahead and exit out of this joy the key real quick. And let's go ahead and open up X pattern the one I'm gonna give you guys will be in the link in the description okay and when you oh, when we run it you gotta make sure that um is a uh, go to properties right click go to properties go to compatibility and make sure you have it run as Windows 7 because that's the version that it's working for any higher than that it's gonna be incompatible to for Windows 8 and higher and just go to okay I'll run the program okay and then from here, you're going to go ahead and select a layout. Um, once again, the download I'm going to provide for you is going to have um, all the images you're going to need. Just go to open and find the controller that is yours. But for most of us, like I said, we're trying to fix the GameCube controllers. So we're going to scroll down to Nintendo GameCube. It's alphabetical order, so it's not that easy, to f not that hard to find. And there you go. You have your GameCube controller. Now, for some reason, my adapter is only allowing the fourth uh, slot to work. So we're going, for me, I'm going to go ahead and function with that one. So let's see here. We're going to go ahead and hit that wrench right there. And let's start uh, configuring the controller now. So for the sticks, we're going to go ahead and hit enable and we're going to go ahead and map out the analog stick for it. So left, up, boom, there's my stick. I use my mouse to grab it and handle over, hover over here, so I know uh, what this particular stick is meant for. Same thing for this one. This is the second analog stick or your C stick. Go ahead and hit the enable button, and you know move the uh, C stick to the left and up, and there you go. It's already configured for you. Then the D-pad. Same thing. It works just as buttons: up, down, left, right. Drag that over here same thing for the uh, buttons now the only thing that you guys are gonna realize is that for this particular controller if you have the uh, for the GameCube the GameCube doesn't register the L and R triggers as triggers they're just buttons for these for the VJoy I'm I'm not sure why but that's the only reason uh, that's the only way I'm able to actually run these <coughs> 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 Sorry, guys, I'm actually a little sick right now. My apologies. Anyways, you have to register that as button. So at this point, when, you, when you're highlighted on the uh, buttons tab right here, just press the button on your controller. So I'm pressing A. A little thing pops up. That's my A button. It's going to be meant for button one. Button two, I'm going to go ahead and press B. Boom. Going to hold that over the B button. Y gonna hover that over the Y and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this real quick. Start Z and of course the uh the non triggers of L and R. 
So now that we have that working, you have all your buttons for the uh, controller. See, I press A, B, Y, X, Z, L, and R, the D-pad. Oops, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and delete those real quick. My apologies. And then you have you here. Okay, so uh, those are all set up for you, no problem. Now at this point, you wanna go ahead and hit the alphabetical button, and then this is where we pop open our Crusade game. Uh, now what I did for you guys is I did re-download um, re the Crusade game for you guys to see what I forgot to mention in my last video about the Crusade, is that when it says Crusade Patch 2, um, you guys have to rename it uh, Just Crusade, because most of you are getting this. You get the, or you'll get to ask for the uh, administrator permission, and every time you guys install or play the game, um, you'll set your controls, and then it'll erase itself. That's because it's not saving it. What you need to do is just um, rename it to just Crusade, because that uh, what Crusade doesn't realize, and hopefully the, the development team is watching this video. When you put patch in um, in the name of your exe file is going to run it as a, in an administrative program you need to not do that so when you run when it's just the super smash Bros. crusade or whatever you name it just take leave the patch out of there that's it all right so anyways we're going to go ahead and run this game see it's not asking for administrative permission it's going straight to the game easy wait for us a little sorry for the wait guys <clears throat> now I'm getting sick. Okay. Smash Brothers Crusade. Well, I'm sorry. I did not realize how ob obnoxiously loud that is. Oh, jeez. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to options, controls. and run down to player one control give me a second i'm going to actually uh, turn this game so you guys can hear me <sighs> turn that down a little bit so we can hear me talk all right so from this point this is where you want to grab your x pattern and your D-pad. So, for this is where you control where you put your where you want your movement controls to go according to the controller pad. So, for your analog stick, you, uh, whatever you have for up down, I'm gonna go ahead and have that for my uh, analog stick part. So I'm gonna go ahead down up down. Sorry, hit the down arrow. Crusade down. Right. Oops, I'm sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> My bad, that was stupid of me. Right. Right. Up. Left. Alright. So this should be pretty standard if you if you just map out, which is... Yeah, this is pretty much, you know, set in stone. Your star button, I'm going to have mine as the enter key. Oops. God damn it. Sorry. Click. Enter. Click the button, and then press the keyboard function. Press the button, click the keyboard function. I'm so sorry I'm being slow. This I'm being really sick today. Anyway, so enter my start button. Select your attack button. I'm gonna press numpad one for that. And my special is gonna be numpad two. Just so I don't lose my time, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it up right now. My attack button is gonna be numpad one. And my uh, my special is gonna be numpad two. My shield button is gonna be numpad three. Make sure I don't forget that. And for my shield, uh, what am I going to put that as? Uh, I guess we could put that in my R function. So we'll put that for this one instead. Hold on. We'll click the R button and make that my shield for numpad 3. Okay. My grab is, I'm going to put that as the delete button on my keyboard. So we're going to push delete. And. For my gravel, I'm going to put that as my Z function on my controller. And I said that was delete. Okay, for jump, I'm going to put that as numpad 4. 
press the numpad four, and then I'm gonna find where I want my jump button to be. It's gonna be both X and Y for me. So I put it for numpad four and numpad four. My taunt button, um, I think if I remember from correctly from GameCube, it's been a while since I played Melee. It's um, it's up on the D-pad if I'm not correct. So we're gonna use that um, taunt as the end key on your keyboard. And I'm gonna put it up here as my um, function for here for end. Yeah, y'all can't see that right there. Walk, I have no purpose of that, so I'll just put that as page down. And then C stick, here we go. Once again, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, T for the up on C. Almost, I just started, shit, that's supposed to be down. That's okay, I'll fix it. Uh, right's gonna be H. And left's gonna be F. Tap to jump off. If you'd like to use up as jump, go ahead, switch it to on. Smashing, um, A smashing on. And if you want the C stick on a nice toll, the up to you is really not a purpose. It's up to you. Leave it on as well. I like the two tap, two run. So when you tap twice, it run. If you tap twice and hold it and run, there you go. I'm using this that. So I'm gonna go and set up my up controls. For me, I have it a little backwards, as you can tell. So I press down for T. So I'm gonna, use, and I press G for down. I mean G for up. So I'm gonna press G, T for up, and then um, F for left and H for right. And there you go. Um, let's see. There's supposed. To, there's actually two shields on your controller, I believe. So I forgot what L is on GameCube. Maybe it's just it's another function. So maybe I'll do that as my other um, shield function. Okay. So that's all good to go. Uh, you're so you're all mapped out for your controller here. So you should be able to run your GameCube controller. I'm just right now. If uh, you guys. So from here on, you should be able to use your GameCube controller with no problem. I'm, I am sorry, this is actually an extra step for you to use your GameCube controller until Crusade comes out with the next patch for 0 0.9, where they allow all controllers to work for their game, which is, you know, a neat, neat finally. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions on about how to install the GameCube software and drivers, I will also leave a link in the video uh, I will link, I'll link in the description to another video that a guy has set up to have his um have you set up your game controller. It's a really nice feature if you have Windows 10. Um, I also leave another vi another video link to show you how to get it set up for Windows 8 users as well. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, please leave a, a comment below. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. I would appreciate that. And subscribe for more videos and any more Crusade questions. All right, guys, you guys have a good day.